set the camera up quite low so you can see the art. And I have to crouch down to get in the frame. This is called Amateur Video 101. Learning how to make good YouTube videos. So I'm going to start painting this trailer today. I posted this trailer on my Instagram on Monday, March 7th. And I asked you guys to help me with the coloring. So someone answered back that they thought I should paint it sky blue, which I like the idea of as well. So I'm gonna start painting this now and maybe I'll speed it up as we go along so that I can fit the entire project in this video. So let's see how it goes. love this color for the outside. These are all the colors I plan on using. I tried to just pick out a few, but there's so many elements to it. And I'm also using like my old, old brushes because this is acrylic outdoor paint. So I'm not sure if these brushes are going to work after this for anything else. Okay, here we go. So fun already. It is so fun. So when I was little, my mother and father used to drop off my brother and sister and I at my godparents' camper by the river. I told you a little bit about the camping that we did in the video with the diurnal animals. But they had this nice camper beside the river when I was quite young. And we used to go down to the river every day once we got up and had our Pop-Tarts because of course my aunt would always make sure we had our favorite flavor of Pop-Tarts. So we'd have our Pop-Tart breakfast and then my brother and I <laughs> would hurry down to the river's edge and catch turtles and see what else was there. We love turtles and we love to just catch them for the day and look at them. Not for the day, just for a little while, long enough to have a look at them, have a little chat about them and play with them a little bit. And so painting this, this camper reminds me of those days. We had lots of fun. The river was kind of murky, so you couldn't really see what was in there unless you went right up to it. And oftentimes there'd be a turtle just resting near the river's edge. And we'd come up quietly and then it would see us and quickly swim away and we would just think that was incredible. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it'd be so exciting that we saw it. <clears throat> we would wait for it to come back. And sometimes we'd catch little sunfish and throw them back. But if we found worms or bugs or insects, we would try to lure the turtles closer to eat them. And they often would come because there were so many turtles there. There were so many turtles there. And we used to play that game of catching turtles. And yeah, so now, I have my own little pop-up trailer, but we don't have it in one place. We take it to different campsites, and so do lots of other people, so we have to be very stealth-like to get a camping spot. So I'm having to go in here, and I'm getting paint on some of the other items. It's a very tight area. So I'll just keep going on that thing, and then if I decide to paint it another color, I can paint over it. That's the beauty of paint, isn't it? It's a nice sunny day today. Spring.
So have you ever caught a turtle? Have you ever caught a turtle in the stream? Or in the river? They're kind of fast. You don't think they would be. They are kind of fast. So look, I did that part. This is actually a birdhouse, I think. You see that hole there and the little perch? So I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with this because I don't know how I would nail it to the tree because the hole is too small to put a hammer in. I guess I just better focus on painting. I remember in the early days when I was quite young, maybe three or four, the same aunt and uncle or god my godparents, they had um, a tent trailer <laughs> and I have pictures of me sitting in it beside my godmother. And I also have memories of sitting with my cousin and my other aunt and uncle from the other side of the family in their tent trailer. So because this brush is quite fat, I'm inadvertently or accidentally getting other things blue, like this edge of the window and the surfboards. But I will take a smaller brush going forward and I'll be able to paint over where the blue has gone on to other things. So I really loved camping so much and I've always loved camping and the reason I love it is because it's so quiet and you get to hear the night the nighttime animals and crickets and different things and it seems so fresh and even if you're in a tent or a camper or a pop-up trailer it's just it brings you closer to nature and I think everybody should try it at some point in their life because it's so fun to like, cook food over the campfire and sit in lawn chairs and you know spend the day outside make a fire watch the fire put logs on the fire tell camp tell stories over the fire when I go camping with my friend in the summer, we sing at the campfire. She has kids and I know all the camp songs. And so I usually <laughs> start the singing or join in. And I know so many camp songs. I still remember them. I was a camp counselor too when I was younger. And I think that's where I learned and practiced all the camp songs. So my, my, my troupe was always singing. We were always singing. It's so fun. So then I need to get in the lines there. But this brush I think is too big. I'm gonna have to use a smaller brush. So that part is done. Mostly. What do you think? I don't like it. I put much too much paint on this tray here. I've been paying attention to that. Maybe I'll do another coat just to make it look nice. This extra paint. This is such a fun project. <clears throat> I found this little trailer at Michael's art supply store. 
They had other designs as well, and I think they were all birdhouses. What a fun project. And to remember all the times that I was camping while I painted. That's so fun. Okay, so I'm gonna work on the rest of it now. I'm gonna stop the camera so I can fit this all into this video, okay? So I've just been washing this brush and I've got this brush soaking in water and I think it's gonna clean them. So look at this beautiful, rich color yellow. Look at that on the curtains. Get a real pop of color. It's a little bit orangey for my liking. Maybe I'll mix it in with the, it's a pale yellow. in the way of changing the color, but that's okay. Definitely gives it a nice pop of color. Definitely makes it eye-catching, doesn't it? So again, we go the downward stroke so that it looks like curtains with the texture as well as the color placement and design. I love it, what do you think? So cute. Thanks for watching. <laughs>